Hey, Will King here from iCotton Homes, and today I'm in the studio, and I want to take a look at the cost difference between regular roof decks versus sealed roof decks. And so, you know, that's a common question I get all the time as a builder is, what's the cost difference between using something like Zip System versus regular OSB? Um, if I had a, a nickel for every time I've been asked that question, um, I would probably retire. So I thought it would be a good time to just sit down and go over the cost difference and specifically the roof assembly and show you what that looks like and then talk through some of the benefits of using a sealed roof deck versus a non-sealed. And even though there's a cost difference, why you should still consider using it. So I think to start with and the thing that everybody wants to know is the math. So let's look at that first. So to do this, you know, I, I took numbers as of yesterday of, of lumber pricing. So, and this is local right here in Florence, Alabama, just so everybody knows watching this video. It's obviously going to vary depending on what market you're in and who you're buying your lumber from. But I would be willing to bet that the difference, um, the average difference is probably going to be pretty close to the same across the country. So commodity OSB, let's start there. So 7 16 OSB. Um, it's about thirteen fifty a sheet right now, um, and five eighths OSB is about eighteen sixty two. And for this video, we're going to do both. We're going to look at a seven sixteenths roof and also a five eighths roof. And typically, we are doing uh, five eighths roof decks because we do use a lot of truss roofs on two foot centers. So seven sixteenths thirteen fifty, five eighths eighteen sixty two, and then we look at our. Uh, zip system, and that's about twenty three twenty nine a sheet for seven sixteenths, and for five eighths, about thirty one dollars and nineteen cents. So that's the cost of the panels themselves. You also have to look at the cost of the synthetic roofing felt versus tape, because when you use one, you don't use the other, right? So um, probably one of the most common synthetic felts that I've seen is GAF's um, Felt Buster. So the cost of that. Um, was like ninety eight ninety eight a roll. That's a thousand square feet of coverage, um, and then four inch zip tape, ninety foot rolls. That's like twenty eight ninety nine per roll uh, is what we're currently buying that for. So let's take the average. Let's take an average house. This just so happens to be one that we're building. So I was able to pull some numbers from that project, but um, it's about fifty four hundred square feet of roof decking. All right. So if you use the a little bit of waste factor there, that puts us at 185 panels, four by eight sheets of OSB. All right, so on a 7 16 roof, let's start there. 185 panels, 1350, that's 2497 um, for in material costs for OSB. And if we went to zip, it would be four thousand three hundred and eight dollars. So then that so you can see the difference, and then you add the synthetic felt cost to the regular panel, the regular roof, all right, that's about $593. That's six rolls. So that's the cost of that. And then our zip tape is about $753 for 26 rolls. Let me point out right there too, that's using the math of seven panels of coverage per one roll of tape. Um, that's typically how we figure it. So let's look at the actual numbers here of the, the total. So regular roof deck with regular OSB plus synthetic felts, $3,090.88. A zip system 7 16th roof is a total of five, plus the tape is $5,062. Uh, that's about $1,971 difference in those two, um, which is about a 63% increase in cost to go from a regular unsealed roof deck to something like zip system roof deck. So a sealed roof deck. It's about 63%. And, and honestly, the 5 eighths numbers are very similar at the end of this. So the panels cost more, of course, on both sides. So um, we'll just go into the, the regular decking, which if you used um, 185 sheets of 5 eighths commodity OSB plus synthetic felt, it's about $4,038.55 versus the 5 eighths zip panel plus tape it puts you at $6,523. Uh, so that difference is about $2,485.34 uh, $2, or 61%. So with 7 16ths, we're 63%. And with 5 eighths, we're 61%. So 
I would be willing to say that if you bet on somewhere between 60 and 65%, you're probably going to be pretty covered. And, and by saying the cost difference between those two. All right. So that's the cost. And yes, it is more expensive. And, and all the people that have asked me questions about that, um, they were assuming that it costs more and they are correct. But why do we do it? So why as a builder, why, why do I invest in a product like that and a system like that um, on a build like what we do um, for our custom homes? So I think to start with, um, during construction, it's a huge help. So, you know, the framing times on some of these custom homes can be anywhere from 6, 10, 12 weeks long. Um, and some even larger and longer, depending on how big the house is. But the, the have the ability to be in the dry from the day your framer gets done is huge. Uh, you know, I remember building without a sealed roof deck and just the pains and the rush to get that roof on because of the amount of water intrusion we had. And so as time went on and we, we swapped over, it was amazing how much more time you had on the inside to stay dry um, because when your framers leave, obviously that's accomplished. Um, and even talking about long-term moisture content in a house, if you can stop the rain from coming in, you can start drying out all of the, uh, the framing package, which I think is a really big deal um, for the long-term success of the project. And then especially if you get in like metal roofing or specialty roofing, those it's not like you can just call a roofer and they come slap on shingles. Those things take time. And in a recent project I had, I was able to get all our mechanicals in, insulation done, drywall, and even trim before our metal roof was able to be put on that project. And so if I, if I had to look at the time that I would have lost on a project, had I not had a sealed roof deck, it would have been a big deal. Um, in fact, it would have probably made that project – a total disaster, to be honest with you. So, you know, is that project, is that benefit alone worth a 61% cost increase or let's just say 2000 to $3,000? Absolutely it is. That let us build their house about three months faster than we would have otherwise because we were having to wait on a product like the roof. So that's one benefit is just being in the dry faster during construction. But Probably the second largest benefit that I'll tell you about is the ability with, to withstand water in the event of severe weather. There's a program out there called Fortified, and you know, and they had developed a set of standards in roof systems and 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 actually into your into your home too for other levels of Fortified. But if you look at that research, it'll tell you. So in the event of severe weather, okay, let's say tornadoes. We're talking about hurricanes, tornadoes, severe wind events, if you lose a section of your roof decking, or not decking, I'm sorry, roof covering, so let's say a big section of your shingles blew off in, the, in a tornado, okay, and then let's say huge rains come that night and even the next day, just by having that sealed roof deck underneath your uh, roof covering, you're talking about preventing up to 95% of water intrusion into your house. That's significant, and that's just because where those panels come together, it's taped. That's the biggest difference there when you talk about preventing that kind of water intrusion. You know, a good friend of ours, Steve Basic, talks about all the time that water is the number one killer of buildings. And I absolutely agree, and not only long-term, but also in the short-term, too. You know, I, I know from the fire service, when we were putting out house fires, if the fire and the smoke didn't ruin your house, the water probably was. Because remember, we were dragging in hose lines and, and putting, you know, 500 gallons or 250 gallons per minute into your house. And it doesn't take long to have a ton of damage from that kind of water. So being able to give your customer peace of mind in the event of severe weather with that sealed roof deck, to me, it's worth way more than the difference that we're talking about right here on this paper. You know, and some other benefits of doing something like Zip System versus regular OSB and felt is our framers prefer it. Our framers prefer dealing with that on the roof versus having to fight with the rolls of um, synthetic roof and felt, you know. And, and then it eliminates the question of like, well, who does the felt? Does my framer do the felt or do my roofers do the felt? Because sometimes my experience, framers weren't that great at doing felt. And then, 
you're bringing out another sub to get your house in the dry by the roofer coming out and putting down felt. So that alone has been a big help as well. Um, and I would argue that it's safer to walk on. I think that a solid product like that uh, without a loose paper or a loose synthetic felt, uh, it does make for a safer working environment, in my opinion. And by talking, and my framers agree with me by talking to them. So um, I think those are big benefits too. All right, so to wrap this up, yes, a sealed roof deck costs more. We've determined that, we've shown the math, and is it worth it? Absolutely. In my professional opinion, I think that it is absolutely worth investing in a sealed roof deck versus a regular roof deck when you're building your house. If you're not already following us on Instagram, please go do so. It's at Will King Builds. And like this video and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be posting more content coming up to YouTube. And if you have any more questions about today's video, please comment below. We'll try to answer that question. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon.